0161 on the map, Manchester. So this is like a VOE trip. This is on the route towards Gloucestershire for the Cheese Rolling Festival, which takes part on the Bank Holiday, holiday Monday. So I'm just going via Manchester because my pal he's battling tonight, so I thought I'd just show a bit of support. No been in a battle in probably about 10 years. So I just thought I'd come through, have a wee swatch of Manchester, then move on to Cheltenham for Sunday. So the origin of Vimto is a Mancunian, a herbalist, if that's a word, seller of herbs and spices. He made this, it was a tonic, a health drink, it was Vim tonic, and so people shorten it to Vimto, and I was reading up on it, and it's mad because it's meant to be quite popular for Ramadan and Middle Eastern countries like drinking it. Fuck knows how that came about, but there's a. It's mad because Vimto starts with V, obviously, in the Arabic. The Arabic um, alphabet doesn't have a V, so maybe that's something. But I don't know. That's a mad, mad connection. It's mad how you just you can look up things and find mad meanings in that. But I. So why am I outside it? Is one of my favourite cocktails is a cheeky Vimto, which I call a P45 because I usually drink them on the Thursday. Don't wake up for work and then get phoned, come get your tools, pack up. So I quite an interesting drink. And a cheeky vimp too if anyone's interested is Blue Wicked's mixed with port. I do half and half. If you go to the pub you get a shot of port. Nah, half and half. Try it. Pure wee prop here. I'm assuming Mackenzie will be headlining, so he'll be on it later on. So we're going to head along now. And I'm just all assuming that you know what Battle Rap is. Well, I used to do it 10 years ago. What it is, is basically what I say everyone, 8 mile, because they all want that. So, it's like a minute each, well, it used to be a minute each to slag the person in front of you. And he gets his chance. But it's like three minutes now, but uh, that's what I'm going to see. So, just so you know what I'm slabbering about. Something different, isn't it? So, I've just got offered two bags of cleaning up powder. At least she was on a hustle. But if I paid for it, would that be money laundering? I've done these one, one of these in Miami was Manchester, you in the building, make some fucking noise! 
Manchester, you notice a lot of bees on the pillars and stuff like that, and it's to, I think it's to do with, um, see the disasters in Manchester, the horrible attacks in the stadium, it's basically the, the bees showing the, the Mancunians like bees, eh? like they get together, support each other, it could be simple because Glasgow we've got fucking, the fish that never swam, the tree that never grew, the bell that never rang and the bird that never flew, so at least that one's positive. Next stop, Cheltenham. Thank you, Manchester, for the hospitality. You know who you are. Cheers. So that's me in Cheltenham. I didn't pack any socks today, so I need to get some socks because I'm literally a sweaty sock here. If you go lying to me again, nice and refreshed. That's me moved into the digs. Basically staying with the owner and a couple next door. Let's hope the couple are not in their honeymoon stages, if you get what I mean. Because I won't be getting much sleep in my Because I had a shite sleep last night because the uh, guy down in the bottom bunk was snoring all night. So, shite sleep. So, what I've got to do now, walk about Cheltenham, see what's got to offer and get some scran because I'm starving and waiting since about Friday. Six, seven. <laughs> you gotta get it stinking.
So what is the cheese oven festival? Well, it takes part on the last bank holiday of May in a place called Cooper Hill, which is in Gloucestershire. What happens is, at the start of it, Master of Ceremonies flings this nine pound wheel of double Gloucestershire cheese and everyone chases it. And the winner is the one that gets it. And you get the cheese and you get the bragging rights of being the fastest to get it. Also does an uphill one as well. I won't be taking part in it cause I'm self-employed so if I gub my leg or something, I'm out of the game. I can't make money so maybe next year or something I might get a bash. But this, what, this, why am I doing this? Well after Argentina, I said fuck it, next year I'm going to do a silly, silly year of just crazy events all over the world, different festivals and stuff like that. Obviously I've done the Battle of Oranges in February and then um, might as well do this while I'm on the way to Japan so that's how I've done it, so part of my silly year. Everyone should have a silly year. But I missed a lift. And the guy behind the bar asked me where I got my Frankfurt shirt from. He actually told me that he's a Hibs fan, which is just madness. Down, all the way down here, mad high bees. One thing I've noticed as a lone traveller that football tops have always been a good icebreaker because people want to know why you're wearing a Frankfurt straw when you're in the Glass region and you're in Cheltenham. So I can't think of any other clothing where people make conversation with you. Can you? First thing that comes to your mind when you think about Cheltenham. Articulate. Cheltenham. Some view for your house. Tempted to jump on, but we're not really into horse racing. Don't really like horses either. But I like the old horse on the chest, the old Ralph Ray line. But if I was interested, I'd probably a wee cheeky run on. So currently, forty minutes away from Cooper Hill. Bus. That's going to be the mañana de mora. But the new thing, I'm just going to go, go home, have an early night, and chill. Lost the show. Bank holiday Monday. Cross hands round the bed. I found it. Just made a couple for Japan and all. Madness. Let's have a swatch of this, mate. It's quite steep. Fuck it, I'm gonna go up the top and have a swatch. It's not as long as you think, but steep.
Although this traditional event is taking place on land managed by the Gloucestershire Wildlife Trust, we are not involved in this organisation in any way or unaware of any insurance safety or first aid arrangements. Attend at your own risk. I end up meeting a couple and they heard me like, oh, so you're a local then, you'll know where you're going. Thought it was quite good, there was that nice sarcastic part of there, mate, but he actually meant it. Madness, man. That man, some steepness in it. Talking to a local and he's saying that people from Spain have came here today, they've cycled it. But next to I've got an American that's actually going to take part in it. It's madness. Obviously, the Japanese couple that I just met as well brings all sorts of mad people here. So, either, so you're holding the left. That's where you get knocked out. Yeah. And this is the route that you're meant to be doing. The local that wins it mostly does that route. But like I was saying, they could be bamming them up. And you've travelled from all the way here from? London. London, but it's California. Is it California? Yeah. Crazy, man. Uh, there's a Japanese couple down there, and then the, the oh, guy really? was currently on a bench next to the hill. It's got a plaque on it. Stephen Brain. He was the 18 times G-Zone champion. Won his first race in 1983 at the age of 15. And he asked for his remains to be scattered on the hill. This is a big deal for people, man. I want to try not to roll. Yeah. Hi, so, I sit with Bradley and he's telling me about this. <coughs> was it a bull ant? Bull ant, Rachel, yeah. Right, so that's up there. So it's a wee variation to do out in the Amazon. You put, you put your hands in these gloves. 100 build on these gloves. The most painful experience human can um, supposed to experience apparently. So that's my next adventure if I survive this hill. He's, he's, he's no <laughs> right, is he? <laughs> We should be doing practice runs on the day. And <laughs> don't well. be doing this on the day. Very good. French are bigger. He came up <laughs> last year. Guy from Ireland, France, two of them friends, France, Switzerland. <laughs> Guy with a hat, he's a cheese master, he's the one that's got to be rolling the, the cheese. <laughs> and I'll hang for the wall in the house. So me, the first Scottish guy representing Aberdeen. So that means I don't need to do it because somebody from Scotland is doing it for me. But I hard to get footage here. The place is mobbed, as you can see. Basically I'm filming it above, but I can't really watch it myself. So but basically I'm telling you, just go and do it yourself, but try my best to get something. So I'm here with AJ, and he was second four years ago, and he's got a wee story for him. So this is known as Cooper's Hill, and the reason it's called Cooper's Hill is because a keeper is a barrel maker, and the keepers used to bring their barrels to the top of this hill and roll them down, and then whoever's barrel lasted at the end was the best keeper, was the, was the best barrel maker, so hence the term Keeper's Hill. So maybe that's where the cheese rolling comes from, we don't know, but um, we'll find out one day. <laughs> so what happens if you catch the cheese? 
you're mid mountain. You never catch cheese. 70 never. miles That's an hour. That's what everybody's been saying. <laughs> but I don't believe it. Miles an hour. You never catch the cheese. <laughs> a buzz. feel that I've cheaped myself down the actual run down but can't really risk it. Plus the next time you need to represent, you need to have the kilt or something. One Scottish guy done it, guy for Aberdeen. But I would definitely recommend this. All sorts of nationalities, I love that sort of stuff. I can, I can always sharpen up on my German, different languages and I've got to use Japanese as well and they were quite impressed so well, on to the next one.